Hello, welcome. This is uh, Taurus and it's December. I oh, know I was saying it's not December, it's January. It's your January reading. Um, I don't know if you can see, I've got my Christmas tree up. And can you see there's a little elf hanging? <laughs> the elf's hanging. Or he actually, he's, he's just chilling. He's just like relaxing on the, um, casually, casually relaxing on the Christmas tree. I didn't put him there, so it's quite funny. Anyway, um, thanks for liking and subscribing. Um, this is if you've got Taurus anywhere in your chart, you may resonate. It's for January. So let's see. I looked at the calendar and I was like, shit, I've got to do the, Jan the January readings already. Oh, whizzing through, isn't it? So, Taurus, January, please. A clear solution. Mm. So, you're going to figure something out. Oh, my hair attached. Uh, you're going to figure something out in January. Um, and it's, it is the way forward that the thing that you've thought of or that's made sense is going to make a lot of sense in January. Um, you may even have the realization now and it's going to really start standing you in a good place come January. Let's see what else. retrieving a dream so you thought you'd kind of lost hope with things but things actually start to look very good for Taurus so that's good isn't it yes something you enjoy you know something you enjoy is is coming back around into your life um okay so you've got here the knight of pentacles and that is um money coming in from multiple sources for you um, it's a very prosperous card. It's a very positive card. It does mean progress in the right direction. Um, and, um, you know, some people may feel, uh, I don't know if boring is the right word, cause, but in some ways, yes, your approach has to be now more stable, you know, and that's what you've realised. It's like, I need to have a more stable approach to my life to the things that I'm passionate about, the things that I do. And it's like a, a stable, uh, this is where I'm focused and this is how it's happening. It's like, you know, and, and in, you know, to some people that may seem more boring or some people might be reactive to that, but it's what you need to do. And what the tarot is saying is it's the right decision, you know, um, it is the right decision. So well done. Now you've got the temperance card here in reverse, which does, indicate <laughs> observe yourself over the next month you know because when you move into january you could slip back into some addictive patterns um possible i mean people do tend to feel a bit vulnerable at the beginning of a new year because there's a lot of hope for a better year and then that can obviously activate a bit of ego but uh, because our egos are sort of getting a bit like fearful or a bit like oh my god what's going on and we, you know, all I can say is it's either that you're finding it hard to let go of something because temperance represents letting go. So there could be some resistance to you finally letting go of something or you could be slipping back into addictive patterns. I'm just saying. And there's no judgment from me, by the way, because, you know, I'm very open about myself and I, you know, I'm not, I'm pretty naughty myself. Um... And it's the best way to be, you know, to just be honest with where you're at, isn't it? Um, but the thing is, you have got the Seven of Wands here, which does show that even though there could be some challenges arising in January for you, um, you're actually going to be able to deal with them. I think you've got so, so much more of a solid grounding now, Taurus. Um, you know, you know who you are, you know your passions, you know your direction, you know your alignment, you've, you're being authentic about it, you're being real, and you're not really you're not really allowing people to influence you anymore. It's like, all right, you might try to influence you, me, you might try to trigger me, but I'm not gonna allow it to knock me off my course, you know, because Taurus is headed in a very prosperous, healthy direction, you know, a more conscious direction now. And I think you are strong enough now that even if you do have a bit of a wobble in January with some issues around addictions or obsessions or, 
crutches or um, it just finding it hard to let go of something or someone actually you can do you can do what you need to do now and nothing's going to make you wobble that much you know I mean Taurus you're a strong character anyway I mean that's why I always get on with Tauruses because <laughs> you know you don't you are a star sign that's just generally you do know who you are and, and I don't think Taurus is generally very easily influenced by people um Mm, can be more probably influenced by temptation perhaps if you could put it like that and um, you might want to shoot me down for saying that I don't know but I've got Taurus in my chart so I'm I'm with you um now it's interesting uh there is a king of pentacles person here mm. uh, so they're actually quite a good match for us for the Taurus um now, because that is sort of Taurus energy anyway, and we've got the Knight of Pentacles here, and then we've got the King of Pentacles. So oh, there's somebody wanting to offer you something in January, and they are a king. This is somebody who's very experienced. <laughs> it would be someone that's very um, generous or giving, in a sense, um, and maybe you're a bit addicted to that, or uh, maybe that's why it's hard to let this person go. I don't know. Um, let's see what this person's thinking. And you're getting a clear solution. This is the thing. I don't think you need to worry uh, if there's an issue in your life or a person in your life. I don't think you need to worry. I think you're going to get so much clarity. I'm actually quite drawn to this crystal. This is a citrine. Look at how beautiful that citrine is. It's just so um, clear. Now, uh, because you've got that clear solution and you've got the Retrieving a Dream card, right? So... You know, I just think you have got great clarity in January, from what I can tell. You, Even if you have a wobble, even if there are temptations or you're in two minds about whether you let go of somebody, um, you actually can deal with it. I don't think you will allow them to trigger you that much. It's like they're holding temptation in their hands, somebody is, and it's like, oh, I could get, this could trigger me. And maybe normally it would have done, but it's not triggering you anymore. And this person is saying, I'm undecided. I need time to think this through. Don't rush me because they're undecided about things. The thing is, this person's quite solid in who they are. Um, they know they can offer you something. Maybe they think you're a bit weak to them. Um, but I don't think you are anymore. Um, and if they want to take their time, that's fine. I think you've already figured out a solution or a way forward for yourself regardless. Let's have a look at, uh, you know, they might be sitting there thinking they've got some sort of power over you, but actually you've got a clear solution. You By January, you know what you're doing anyway, so it, it doesn't really rock you anymore. Um, and ooh, your spirit guides are talking about some fun, daring, adventure, excitement, call of the night. <laughs> okay so something I think something is going on and you could have temptations around somebody who's attractive um and they, it could sort of like oh you know get you going a bit here um but you're you're much more well placed to deal with this now so whether it's a new person or somebody you already know uh I think they're going to be offering something to you that's quite tempting and quite exciting but instead of kind of falling weak and addictive to this, you're going to approach it in a much more grounded way. And it's like, yeah, I can have fun. I can do stuff. But I know who I am now. And it doesn't really send me into a spin anymore, you know, <laughs> so I can still get on with my long term goals. And I don't get so freaked out by things. But anyway, you've got a clear solution that what they're saying is the way forward that you realise you've got is definitely the way forward for you. It's going to be fruitful you're going to be pretty happy. So that's a really good reading for January for Taurus. And if you do want a reading for me from me personally, just email me or go to my Facebook page, Awakening Tarot. Um, hopefully I'm going to have a website soon and you'll be able to just click on the link to do, to do a contact form or do the PayPal button straight off. Um, anyway, um, yeah, one love and peace.